Hello everybody, welcome back to another video. So I want to do this so you know what's coming in the next version of GNOME. There will be no X11. It is being removed. And it's being removed so the developers can fully concentrate on Wayland, which is, trust me, something you'd want. Because the more they invest into Wayland, the faster that they can bring it up to par with once, with what x11 once was jeez already have problems talking and um i know there's a lot of people be like oh gnome's evil oh plasma did it too yeah 6.4 split off x11 it's not going to be maintained or basically touched anymore uh it's going to just be updated to work with uh anything if it ever breaks or has issues and there you go so <sighs> people need to move on it's, it's as simple as that companies that are x11 only that only have applications that work on x11 they need to move on they don't really have a choice because if they want to have a future here on linux they need to implement wayland support which is not really that much different from implementing x11 support it's just a different protocol that's all it is Add it, you're done. You don't really have to worry about it. You don't really have to update it. You just have to update your app like you normally would. The code is easily maintained. It's simple. It's efficient. Your app will end up performing better. Uh, it's as simple as that. Now, the code is just disabled, is the first thing you need to understand. And it's going to have complete and utter removal by GNOME 50. GNOME 49 is tracking to be a very, very big change, and um, I can actually test the changes today. Interesting. So it's the Alpha Zero uh, snapshot. So maybe I should go and try this. Hmm. What the hell is this? Maybe I shouldn't come to whatever this is. Why is this a, a blog by GNOME? Is this a blog by GNOME? I don't know. Let's go take a look at the pull request. Let's go look. Draft removal of X11 code. Tracked from mile fifth milestone 50. And in 98, we removed the session targets. Okay. Uh, deprecating the X11 session. Great. I'm glad they did that. Let's go take a look at that. Closed. Milestone 49. What do we got here? Was it replaced with something else? Closed this three months ago. Mm -hmm, okay. Oh, look at that. So it's just technically disabled by default in GDM. So if you want to, you can just recompile GDM with X org support and you're done. Or X11 support. Yeah. What is this? Multi seat enablement. I like this. Oh, there's an initiative right here. Let's take a look at this. GNOME shell mutter, GDM, GNOME session control panel, and GNOME color manager to be archived. This does not affect X Wayland at all. It will be with us for decades. It also does not affect GDK, Pango, Cario. All right, well, this is cool. Look at that. Ah, you can get as angry and as mad as you want about this, but the fact is that this was going to happen eventually. It's happened in Fedora already. Fedora's completely removed X11. It's gone. Ubuntu is following suit, and other distributions are about to follow suit as well. The death of X11 is coming. All right, but again, they made it very easy to enable Xorg in the GDM config for Messen. So if you ever want to keep it alive, you can. Look at that. There's a build option as well. So they're almost done with this. Very nice. Look, I've been using Wayland for a ridiculous long time on both NVIDIA and AMD. I've had no issues on both. It's been a very, very well planned out experience that if I had to do all over again, I would. Wayland has been perfect. Uh, I don't have any complaints, and I know many people don't as well. I know many people who use it, entire discords filled with people. 
And again, they've just had no issues. There's no reason to stay on X11 no more. You have a certain application that does not work, run it through Gamescope. Yeah, run it through Gamescope. There's your alternative and how to run it on Wayland, running it through Gamescope. And you could do that. It's very simple. Let's get rid of this because we don't need this no more. If we open up this. This is Lutris. You go and you add the application. So, I don't know, say server app. And we, of course, need to select that it's a native Linux app. Find the executable. Okay. And then afterwards, go in here. Enable game scope. Set the resolution. So... Most people are working at 1080p. Set it to be either full screen or windowed. Windowed means it's just a normal application and set the frame limiter. So 60 FPS, 120, 144, 165. Hit save and there you go. That makes it run in X11 on Wayland. It's a bypass. It's very interesting. It's very cool to do. You could do this with almost any application. Well, so this is a thing. X11 Libre is being considered for Fedora 43 instead of normal X11 libraries. Yeah. I, I, I decided to add this at the end of um, this GNOME video because it, it's kind of important. It honestly just seems ridiculous that they would support such a project. They don't know what they're doing half the time. 99% of what they've done are reverts. NVIDIA themselves had to get after them for reverting certain things because it was breaking things. And it's not a stable project by any means. And God knows. This is interesting, but also I, I don't think I could ever touch Fedora again, to be completely honest with you. I don't think I would ever bother. This is just a bad decision all around. But again, I guess that's up to you. Uh, X11 Libre is an alternative project to X11, which aims to update it, fix security issues and a whole bunch of stuff. But so far, all they're doing is reverts. I don't think they have any idea what they're doing at this moment in time, but Ah, uh, it's all a political mess. And I would prefer if politics stay out of Linux. And I don't think that's going to happen, unfortunately, because there's a bunch of toxic people that are bringing politics into Linux. But you think what you need to think, you do what you need to do. Be nice in the comments, as always, because, you know, leave the toxicity on Reddit. We don't need to bring that here. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye, everybody.